Welcome back. This is Lesson 29, Political Systems Review. And the first thing I need to say is that I hope you're not getting the impression that this lesson is going to replace all the other lessons. Uh, this is not meant to be a replacement of the others. This is a summation of the others. So in order to prepare for the political systems midterm and the political systems part of the diploma exam, you're going to need to look at more than just Lesson 29. This is just kind of a check-in to see what some of the concepts that we've looked at. So, a quick look at the review. The political systems part of the textbook covers many chapters. It looks at Chapter 5. Chapter 5 is the chapter that focuses on our um, authoritarian states. It also focuses on Chapter 10. Chapter 10 is the chapter that really introduces democracy and compares it with Canada. And chapter 11 and chapter 13 and 14 both deal with citizenship. So we do have many chapters uh, in the textbook, perspectives on ideologies that look at political systems. And that is what I would suggest to you would be our first step in terms of review, is have you mastered the textbook? After that, my next recommendation would be to go back and rewatch the Williams videos for this unit, and then go back and rewatch my other YouTube videos for this unit, and look at the, the highlighted sections of those other lessons. But here's also a summary. We've looked at democracy, and we've looked at the roots of democracy including some of the focus with Canada's Indigenous peoples, our First Nations, and the Iroquois Confederacy and their influence on the American system of, of federalism and representation from the different regions. We also looked at case studies including Canada and the United States and looked at some key concepts, some key um, values of both of those two systems. Here's some multiple choice that give you a chance to look at those values. Here's some more multiple choice as well. We also have um, some notes here on the U.S. Republican system of government. And it is important to have a comparison of the Canadian and the American systems down. Um, one other thing that I have here is a link to a Prezi from another teacher in the province. And sometimes it's good to see something it's the same ideas, but just see it packaged differently. So I have this link here for you so that you can go through it and look at the roots of democracy, the foundation with the will of the people, that quote from Churchill, democracy is the worst form of government except for all others. Um, that's a good quote too by Churchill. The idea that you know the best argument against democracy is to have a five-minute discussion with a citizen of a democracy. Then we looked at voting, the idea of direct democracy versus indirect democracy, the problems with first past the post, the more democratic um, proportional representation system, issues like apathy and low voter turnout among young Canadians. We looked at issues within the parliamentary system of misrepresenting the will of the people because of the way we count the vote and corruption scandals with some of the key politicians. Mr. Trudeau, we're looking at you, sir. We also um, have a Senate in Canada, and the idea that the Senate in Canada is not as powerful as the Senate in the U.S. because it's not elected, and therefore some would argue it needs to be reformed. Popular vote doesn't always equal how many seats we get, so there's your misrepresentation of the will of the people as well. We also have the system of checks and balances in the United States. Uh, we looked at that when we looked at accountability. There's a couple of good visuals there to summarize that for you. Tyranny of the majority, incidences of illiberalism, including the internment of Japanese Canadians, the oppression of indigenous Canadians, the cultural genocide that we've seen, Forced homogenization and assimilation. We 
looked at interest groups and lobby groups and how they pressure government and sometimes have undue influence on government and are able to, um, in the case of things like tobacco, and able to ensure that their product remains legal when there might be evidence from Canada Health that it should not be. And that, my friends, is a quick summary of what we've accomplished on the democratic side of our political systems unit.